Hi, taking on from the previous video wherein we saw the example of a dance academy wherein this is the data of revenue per student. This is the number of students in each dance class. This is the number of dance batches that we would we intend to run in a year. And here in this particular table, we captured how the revenue, the total revenue of the dance academy would change with the number of students, the variation in number of students and the variation in the revenue per charge. Now, in this particular exercise, we are trying to create a scroll bar to see what if we change the number of batches per year. Now, in order to get the scroll bar, we would go to file, we'll go to options and we go to customize ribbon and here we'll check developer and say okay and the moment we do that we would see we get an additional tab called developer we we'll go to developer insert the scroll bar and here you need to maneuver your mouse pointer in a way to get the scroll bar right click to get format control and this particular information needs to be filled in in the context of the scroll bar that we just drew so let us assume we want to give the current value to be zero depending upon the context you might like to set the current value to any number uh, similarly the minimum value in this particular case this value would be what's the number of batches per year the minimum number of batches that could be running in a year and i'm letting it to st to be staying at zero the maximum uh, that we might like to go up to is let us say 25 so this 25 would essentially means in a year how many dance batches we might run next is incremental change which essentially means that here on every single click we would expect the number of batches per year to increase by how much and since the variation in this particular example would be just varying between a 0 to 25 so i let the incremental change to be one the last and the most important one is that i need to give the link to this scroll bar and attach it to one of the cell uh, cells where the values would be reflected so i click on this little red arrow here and i click on the number of batches per year which essentially means that the scroll bar is being linked to number of batches per year and i press the enter key to come back to my original dialog box and i say okay and then when I click anywhere in this sheet, I would be able to see this picture. And the moment I get to the scroll bar, this hyperlink would indicate that it's ready to work. And then when I click on this, with every single click, the value in this particular cell, that is the cell that we linked in, in the dialog box, would change by the amount of incremental value that we gave and in our example we took it to be one so you actually become like a wizard and you could use a scroll bar to further enhance the sensitivity analysis of your worksheet hope you enjoyed watching the video